So if you like your Galaxy Fold 4 to be simple and easy to navigate, this launcher that I'm about to show you is not for you. If you're a Star Trek fan like me, and you have a Galaxy Fold device, and you want it to have the best looking Star Trek theme or launcher on the planet, well, this launcher is for you. So I've been spending some time with this new launcher that's called Total Launcher. This is a heavily customized launcher that's totally different from any launcher that you ever used before. Let me show you guys some things about this launcher and let's have some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So this launcher is a paid launcher, which I will leave the links down in the description below. This launcher has many parts of customization. Also, this launcher requires many system permissions. So just keep that in mind. Let's go down and go over this launcher and let me show you guys how I customize this launcher. So check this out. All right guys, so here it is. This is the main screen of this launcher. Uh, this launcher is pretty neat. It had to be customized though. But when you first install this launcher, it's gonna come with some pre-installed stuff, but it's uh, it requires a lot of permissions, uh, system permissions, just so you know. First thing is, this is the home screen. Now you can add multiple home screens here. All you have to do is find a blank space on the main screen, press it, hold it. You're gonna get to this part here. You, you got to click on edit and add a page, right? You add a new page. Uh, while we here, uh, we got the your menu here that have launcher options, system options, Steam's wallpaper, backup center, which is really neat because I would advise you once you get this customized, back it up. All right. So that is if you want to add a new page, I'm going to turn off edit mode. All right. So here's your main screen. Um, it's a lot of things is already pre done, but you do have to spend some time with it once you uh, install this for the first time you want to pick if you have a fold device you want to pick uh fold all right and the reason why is because of the cover display as you can see i got more animations here at the bottom the cover display this is a little tab different from the primary display this is going to happen all the time but uh, you do full customizations here all right so here at the top you have all apps most of your pages that we're going to talk about in this video it's all up going to have all apps very important and the reason why is because if you don't have something that's customized and you need to get to an app really quickly you can always go to all apps and it's going to have all your apps all right now you're going to get a sound profile every time you touch something it's going to give you that star Trek star track theme all right so here it is Navigation, when you click on navigation, it's going to give you some navigational options. It's going to give you more of the United States here, the whole world. Uh, and when you click on it, again, you're going to get that Star Trek theme. All right. And uh, so I did a fresh install here. All right. So some of the things I'm clicking on is requiring me to add an app to it uh, so I can tap on it. So I'm going to add maps here. Uh, and I want to show you guys some of this stuff uh, because you may get confused on how to customize this launcher. So I just added that and I go maps. Okay. All right. Trip info. All right. So trip info again, you can add an app. I'm going to add maps. Again, you can add whatever you want. Okay. I'm going to add maps again. All right. So here it is. And if you press on here. Again, it's going to give you some uh, <laughs> Star Trek theme noise. All right. And as you can see right here, operations, I have Chrome browser, I have Amazon shopping, YouTube music, Prime video, and stuff like that. You got your phone dollar here, email, Gmail, notification. Now, notification is going to be very important here. And the reason why, is because sometimes you don't get notification that pop up here. But if you want notification, all you got to do is click here. Now, every screen that we're going to talk about this video is going to have notification and have all apps. You got SMS, you got Facebook, and you got your camera. Now, if you need to do some editing with the screen, all right, you press the edit button, 
press and hold it, and it's going to allow you to customize everything. If you want to make the, the box bigger or smaller, or you could do all your customization just by pressing and holding edit. All right. Get out of that. Swipe. Turn off edit. Okay. That's pretty neat. Here's your Wi-Fi strength, right? You got your battery stat. You have your data, all right? Where you click on it, it brings you to your data. Uh, click on here's your battery stats. Pretty neat. All right, you click on that. That's your Wi-Fi. And it's giving you a Wi-Fi signal, so that's pretty neat. This is nice. When you click on system, I like this part of this app, of this launcher. Uh, it tells you all your stats. You got battery stats, RAM, brightness. You got available RAM. These are all your toggles that's on Bluetooth, tethering, data, Wi-Fi. That's pretty neat. All right. Uh, and go back. You can always just swipe back. All right. So here at the bottom, this is going to be very important. All right. Here is going to be your Google Assistant. Sometimes if you can't find an app, if you can't get to this or you can't get to that, all you got to do is just press your Google Assistant. And you can either open up an app or ask the Google Assistant to help. Right. So if you press it, what time is it? It's 1024 a.m. There you go. So you got your Google Assistant, you got the voice search, and you have search. All that right here. So this app has three primary pages. You got communications, which is called Comms, Utilities, and Media. When I click on Comms, it's going to bring you to a communication. I put all my social media apps in the communication tab. Again, you have to uh, you know, set it up the way you want to, but when you do a fresh install it's already set it up for you now you may have to log in you may have to give permissions but here is all your login and again remember i talked about notifications all apps here it is right there you got your whatsapp and meet google meet and stuff like that facebook twitter again when you click on twitter there it goes okay facebook right there again you could edit everything Anything you want here, but here it is. It's already pre-set up for you. You have email, Gmail, SMS, stuff like that. Close. Now, let's go to utilities. Utilities here is going to give you more of your business uh, apps or if you're a college student or something like that. For me, it's my business page. Uh, I got Excel spreadsheet, OneDrive, OneNote, Translate, Google Assistant, Settings, uh, Google Drive, and stuff like that. So, uh, uh, Timers, and File Explorer, and Home. Now, right here at the top, it says Unknown. Again, this is a fresh install. So, if I click here, it's going to ask you to in put something there. So since this is going to be my more business app, I'll put something more business like calculator right there. Nice and easy. You got notes. Again, it's going to ask me uh, to set it up. So <clears throat> uh, you have to put in your notes. All right. Put one drive right there. Okay. For my primary notes, you click on there. You get back to navigation. Some pretty neat stuff here. You got to find my device. Again, you might have to give it permissions if you click on it. Let's go back to the main page and let's go to media. All right. So media is just exactly what it is. You want to set up your media stuff, your movies, your YouTube, your Netflix and stuff like that. So here it is. I have my Netflix, my YouTube, my prime video and stuff like that already set up here. Now already pre set up. So here it is. There you go. Now, right here, you're going to get an icon here. It's going to be for your music. Uh, here, I got this for Spotify, uh, Disney Plus, YouTube Music. And again, system, it gets you back to your battery stuff, your RAM, your brightness and stuff like that, which I really like. <clears throat> okay, so uh, right here is pressable, right? I'm back at the main screen and if I click on here, it gets me back, uh, gets me to YouTube. All right, gets me to YouTube which is pretty neat. Now you could uh, press edit, press and hold, right? And if I need to change it from YouTube, I just press here and action. I got it on YouTube right now. And uh, application. And I'm going to put it back on YouTube because that's my what I want it on. But you can put it on anything you want that's clickable. Okay, YouTube app. All right. All right, so what are the questions you guys may ask? What about multitasking? Yes, you still do have your sidebar here, and yes, you can multitask. 
All right. So, yes, you can multitask and you can hit the sidebar again and you can add another icon, another app. So, yes, you can multitask. All right. So there it is. Now, by the chance you get frustrated, you want to get out of this. You want to get out of this. Scroll down. Go to your settings. Uh, you want to go on to your apps. Go to your choose default apps. All right. You want to go to home right now. I got it on total launcher, but you go back to one UI and there it is. This is my one UI. By the chance you get frustrated, you want to go back. Uh, but yes, again, apps, you want to choose app, choose default apps, go here, total launcher. Boom. There it is. And so if you have your full cover screen, you could do the same thing. Comms. Here, utilities, here, beautiful. Something It's different here on the cover display versus the main display. Here, choose widgets, all right? And you have to create a widget. You got to allow access. This is some of the things I was talking about. Widget, you got to allow access, okay? And when you open it up, there it goes. So you had your primary screen. Pretty neat. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons we're using this launcher. First, this launcher is totally different. You, If you don't have time to learn it, if you don't have time to customize it, if you don't have time to you know, use it, it will be frustrating for you. Don't use this app if you don't have time to set it up. Next, I don't see any battery drain. Look, even though it has a lot of animations running at all times using this launcher, you know, battery life has not been very bad for me using this launcher. So just so you know, next, you can always go back to the stock launcher at any time. All you got to do is open up your settings, go to apps and go to default launcher and boom, you're right back. Next, no one would ask you to use your phone when they look at this launcher. And that might be a good thing uh, because this launcher doesn't have a phone icon on it. It's not a traditional launcher. Everything about this launcher looks totally different. So most people that will look at this launcher don't even think that this is a phone. So keep that in mind. So now let's talk about some of the cons. First, you may not see notifications, but you still have your drop down shade. All you gotta do is pull down and you can see all your notifications. Some of your notifications will not pop up on your screen again. All you gotta do is pull down your shade. That may be a con for some people because if you get a lot of notifications, you might get a buzz in your hand or maybe get a, a notification uh, sound, but you don't see it in, on your display. So you do have to scroll down to get all your notifications. Maybe a con for people, you know what? It's all good for me. Next, this launcher requires you to spend a lot of time to set it up. Get to know it. Look, this launcher is not just installing it and go about your business. This uh, launcher requires some time to get to know it, some time to set it up. There may be a kind for some people, but you have to spend time with this launcher. And lastly, this is a paid app if you want full features. There's nothing free about this app. It's gonna cost you about 450 to five bucks. But you know what? It's, a, it's great if you're a Star Trek fan, you will love this app. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna hear my thoughts about the Galaxy Fold 4, click this video right here. Click this video right here and I'm gonna be in the comments. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.